What is going on, everybody? As you can see, I'm not in my usual spot. Right now, I'm trying to make uh, this my usual spot. I think it's a nice area. I mean, sort of. Right now, I just get a big white wall, but that's just fine because I'm planning to put like a shelf and then put pops up there and then hopefully it comes out nice. Um, but yeah, so this is a new spot. Hope you like it. Do you like it? Anyway, guys. So my last video was about uh, TargetCon for NYCC. That was part one. Um, and now for this video, we're going to be doing part two of that. So uh, let's do it. All right, guys. So the last episode I did... It was about Target. Showed you what pops I got there. And now for this video, we're going to be focusing on Hot Topic, GameStop, and pretty much everything else. I don't, I don't want to wait. I don't want to make it a three-parter. Um, plus, I'm still waiting for like a few pops to come into the mail. And I don't want to wait for that either. So, this video, we're going to be focusing on all of the New York Comic Con pops that I got. All right, start off with Hot Topic. Now there were a lot of exclusives that I wanted to get, but I narrowed it down to four. So the first one I'm gonna show you is Captain Rex. This one's pretty cool. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Clone Wars, uh, the show that's on Netflix. I, I believe it's still on Netflix, but yeah, here he is. Captain Rex is pretty much a badass. So it's pretty cool. I'm opening them up so you see you guys better. Now I'm gonna be cutting me opening the boxes because it's gonna take too long. So beware. Cool. Well, here he is, guys. Zoom in right there. There he is. Pretty cool looking, right? Cool bobblehead. My favorite thing about this is the tally marks that he has in his armor. You see he has them on his head on both sides. And also on his, turn it around. Also on his, the sides here. Some tally marks. That's pretty awesome, that's cool. You see the bobblehead, like all Star Wars pops are, and he has a little, uh, the stand to come with it. It's pretty awesome. It's a cool pop. On to the next one. Next one is gonna be Wonder Woman. Now, right off the bat, my favorite thing about this pop is the box. This box, the, I love the, the glow to it, the gold metallic look to it. It's super cool. And the pop is awesome as well. And this one is Wonder Woman's first appearance, and this is what she wore on the fir first time she was introduced in the comics. So it's pretty awesome. There's a back to back, pretty cool, and then it shows the comic that she was in when she first showed up with the costume. Super awesome. Really cool pop. Now, this one I gotta take out because. I'd rather keep her in box, but yeah, she's awesome. Next one. It's probably one of my favorites, and it's Carnage with tendrils. There he is. The packaging is different for this one because they had to uh, make sure everything's still, still in the box and the tendrils, so that's why it looks so different compared to other pops. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, right? All the sets, remember I showed in other videos. Super cool. I won't take him out either because he is probably a hassle to take out, so I'm gonna keep him in there. All right. The next one, the last one for Hot Topic, is probably the most wanted pop for 
this year's New York Comic Con. And it is the Great Ape Vegeta. I mean, look at this thing, guys. This thing is beautiful. And it's a six inch pop. Awesome. Even better. Look at that. He is freaking cool, man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. Just wanna point out this is the first six inch pop that I've ever taken out of the box. I have, wow. Woo! This thing's massive. I have about like five six inch pops and I've never taken them out of the box. And this one is awesome. Look at that. Oh, man. That is a beauty. Look at the hair, the details is ridiculous. Oh, it's even more beautiful out of the box. This is, this is, wow. Super cool. Super cool. Look at that. He's almost as big as, yeah, even bigger as the original box. It's crazy. Oh, he's super awesome. They had turns and everything. Super dope. Sweet. So we're gonna fill all the pops up here so you guys can see him again. Pop them to the side there. Boom, boom. Cool. Okay, now moving on to GameStop. Now for GameStop, I only got two pop, well, technically one. And we're about to be introducing the first non-pop of the show. So let's do it. So the first, so the pop that I got was Korg with Meek. Uh, he's from Thor Ragnarok, as you can see. Um, Thor, um, Korg is one of, the, one of the fighters he meets in the arena. Um, and then same with Meek. But for this one, he's holding, he's holding Meek from like the end of the movie where he like, he thinks he's dead, but he ends up not being dead. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool one. Definitely one I wanted. Let's go ahead and take him out. Well, here he is. That's pretty cool. I love how dirty he is. It's pretty awesome. There he is. That doesn't bobble that much because it's pretty big, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Still bobble. Detail is cool. There he is. Hope you guys can see him. Oh, yeah, he's super cool looking. See if I can put them here, I guess. I can see them, I guess. All right, now it's time for the non pop I was talking about. Now, Funko came out with another like type or brand or category. I don't know, I don't want to explain these things anymore. Another type of figure in their, in their um, company, and it's a five star figures. Now, for this one, is DC. And it is the gold five-star Batman. It's pretty cool. Here's the front of it, here's the back. The side. Now what's cool about these, I think they're adorable, one. 
and they come, they op this opens up, and it comes with like little accessories, which is awesome. I'm not really sure what, what is that, but. Wait, did it fall out? Do I have a missing an accessory? Oh no. Oh no. So yeah guys, I think I'm missing an accessory. Ah, that sucks. So I might have to exchange it or take it back, I don't know. So here he is in box. Pretty cool, right? All gold. I believe um, to the left of him, I mean to the right of him, he should have a, a Batarang, but he doesn't, which I realized just now. So, let's might go to GameStop and see if we have to get another one. Oh, no, it isn't there. It's just, it fell off. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, never mind, guys. What's the line? So, I'll have to open it up and put it back up later. Anyway, yep, first five star hero. On the channel. Awesome. There you go. All right. Now moving on to box lunch. Matter of fact, leave box lunch for last. Box lunch is this pop is very special to me. Um. So let's go. Again. Let's go with uh, Barnes and Noble. Let's do that. So the first, the ones that I wanted at Barnes and Noble were. All the Game of Thrones pops, which is uh, Beric, I forgot his last name, Beric, Don, Don, Don Barian, something like that, and the Creators. Now, I couldn't get the Creators, that one sold out really fast. Um, so if anybody you want to send it to me, I wouldn't be mad about that. But I ended up getting Beric, and this is him right here. This pop is super cool. Um, leaving it in box doesn't do it justice, so I will take it out for you guys and show you why this pop is just so cool. It has so much detail. And it's just awesome. Let me take them out for you guys. So here he is, guys. Hopefully you guys can see that. Close to it. Bring it out. Look at that. My favorite part is the sword, the translucent sword. It's so freaking cool. Side of him. Look at that. Stance is awesome. The eye patch, scars on his eyes. It's just awesome. Super cool pop. All right, now on to the last one of Barnes & Noble. Uh, for Barnes & Noble, I only wanted like three pops, um, for sure, and that's all I already got. Um, but I'll end up getting two, because the creator's um, three-pack uh, was a sold out. Now, the last one is for a collection that I've been collecting that I want all of. Um, so, yeah, I'm in search of all of them, and I'm, I'm glad I got my hands on this one. Here she is, Hermione Granger, with Sorting Hat. This is a real cool one. Now, I believe they came out with Harry Potter with the Sorting Hat, and for the future, they're gonna come out with Ron, of course. So this one, this one is, is super cool. I had to get it. Decided, of miss it back. Now you see the packaging is the same as the, the carnage I showed you, so I'm not gonna take her out. She's like double packaged, probably because of the way the pop is. So that's cool. So that will do it for Barnes and Noble. And I'll guys, the movie's over, so I need, I need space for this pop coming up. So this, this next pop is probably my top two for the con. My first one is the Biggie from Toy Tokyo, which Toy Tokyo is just, having a ball with everyone with their on online release. So like, everyone is just on their computers daily trying to get that 
code for the online release and it's just like it's been happening since maybe Sunday so like hopefully that works out I can get that pop but second right now is box lunch and super cool here it is this is the first pop ride I have in my collection and I'm super super happy that is this one here it is the Toy Story Planet Pizza Pizza Planet truck with Buzz Lightyear you're driving. Isn't that freaking awesome? Look at that. Super cool. Side. I don't know why the people were saying that there's been like uh some trucks that are going, are going around that are being sold that is not dirty, um, but this one is dirty, so I'm glad I got the dirty one because it wouldn't be the same if it was clean. But yeah, this is it. Super cool. Um, I don't want to take this out either, but um, I wish I could, but I, I think I'd rather not. Or should I? You know what? Let's do it. Say where I can. First time ever opening a pop like this, so let me use it back here. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Super cool. Here it is, guys. Pizza Planet truck. The detail is crazy on this. It has the broken headlight uh, in the front. It's super filthy. Buzz is driving. Has the spaceship up top. Really a nice rec replica from the movie. And the back. It says yo from the missing letters of Toyota. So it's awesome. Super cool. Now everybody, everybody was going on about like the price of this pop, but for me, I think $40 is, yeah, yeah, it's a lot, but for this a pop like this, I, I, think it's, I think it's worth it. I had no hesitation of buying it. I mean, look, I mean, if you're big fans of Toy Story and Disney, you could tell why. I bought it because it's just awesome. So yeah, guys, uh, that would do it. That is all. Actually, no, I'll, I'll put a picture like somewhere up here um, for to show you what else I got. I also got um, pops from Fye exclusives, and I got Professor Quirrell, which is a cool pop. One. I'm probably gonna have a separated for him. He's super awesome, um, and Cece from New Girl. Wanted her, I love the show. Um, I'm collecting the whole set too, so I needed her, so I got her. So yeah, that, that'll do it for this video. Um, that, that will conclude the NYCC videos in general until Professor Crow comes. I'll probably just have a normal review for him. So yeah, guys, um, another drill. Just go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you have any comments, please let me know uh, what, what pop did you like the best. What pops did you collect uh, for NYCC if you did? Um, yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for taking time to watch these videos. And guys, just want to say, you know, thank you for all of my subscribers that are out there and who show support for my channel. I've been hearing a lot from you guys. You guys have been getting in contact with me, which is completely awesome. Um, the fact that, you know, I, I have people out there that I've known for like a while and I've been acquaintance with and friends with I found out that they have, they have pops that they've been collecting for a long time 
it's really cool, you know. I mean, I, I'm fr I'm new at this, so finding friends that you know have, have collected or have are still collecting, it's, it's awesome. It's really cool to have community, you know, full of friends that love what you love. So, guys, thank you for reaching out for me. Thank you for you know, I appreciate the help that you guys are giving me. Um, yeah, just want to say thank you. Um, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please consider please uh, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Before I leave, let's do something new. So for the first shout out ever in this channel, I'm shout out my friend, Joe Barra. He's a trooper, and he's helped me out. For this con specifically, he helped me out to get my, um, my pile from Hot Topic. He stood in line for me when I was at Target. Cool friend. He's also a collector as well. He has all the Dragon Ball Z Pops, except for that Arlea Ar Vegeta, which is like $1,000 right now. So like, I understand why. And now he's on a mission to get that Majin Vegeta and that Blue Chrome Vegeta. A lot of Vegetas. <laughs> um, but yeah, shout out to him. Thank you, Joe, for everything. Um, here's a picture of his collection. I'll put it up here somewhere. It's awesome. He's doing this thing, um, and he's one of the main reasons why I got into Pops in the first place. So, love you, man. All right. See you next time.